Hey, Alex. I was uh, doing laundry this morning, and I noticed that some of your clothing is covered in blood. Care to explain? Yeah, don't worry about that. It's fake. I just got a little messy while I was watching Evil Dead. Wait, you got that from a movie? <laughs> oh, Aaron, you are so naive. Evil Dead isn't just a movie anymore. <gasps> I'm Alex Ness. And I'm Erin Ringgold. Do you really think we need to keep introducing ourselves? I mean, I think our viewers remember who we are by now. Are you sure about that? Because I forget your name until I look at the script each week. <sighs> My self-esteem gets lower and lower every time we do this show. Go cry about it somewhere else. Let's get to some pop culture news. Did you check out the Academy Awards, Erin? I tuned in for a little bit. Good news, Billy Crystal is still alive. Ooh, and the artist took home Best Picture. Who knew a silent film could be so popular? Maybe if you stop talking for the rest of the show, the Power Juicer can win an Academy Award. You can dream. Anyway, I found a movie that's going to make everyone forget all about the artist. Clear your schedules, because Tim and Eric's billion dollar movie premieres this Friday. I can't wait to see what atrocity you're gonna show this week. Well, wait no longer, Aaron. Let's take a look. In 2012, I've been meaning to tell you this all night, but I love you, man. I love our friendship. Thank you. I honor you, and I honor our friendship, and I honor our love. Two of America's most celebrated icons. Hi, I'm Eric Wareheim. And I'm Tim Heidecker. Oh, yeah! Present a motion picture so epic. I want to eat their hearts! Yeah! Yes! Yes! It will leave you in shock. Breathe. <gasps> it's got action. Ah! Government, stand down! It's got romance. Hi, Eric Wareheim, I love you. Start again. Hi, I'm Eric Wareheim, very in love with you. And... Okay. It's got drama. You're in a very bad place. I dropped those pants. It's got special effects. Ah! It's got stars. Oh, how nice. Hi, hi, hi. I'm Chef Goldblum. Taquito! Oh! It's got shrimp. Shrimp! 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 Sounds like shrimp. Where do you find these movies? You'd be surprised what you can find on the internet. Uh, what's that? Uh, this? I've got these pledges for us to sign. Uh. <clears throat> I, Alex Nassos, and Aaron Rinkle, pledge to see Tim and Eric's billion dollar movie with at least one member of our family or a very close friend. I also pledge to not see the movie which called Lorax, which looks bad. I pledge to see the billion dollar movie in movie theaters if it's playing within 50 miles of my location. If I cannot see the billion dollar movie in theaters, I pledge to order the billion dollar movie on demand through my cable provider or through iTunes. I pledge to never BitTorrent steal the billion dollar movie no matter what my friends think. And any friend who does torrent the billion dollar movie, I pledge to call my local police station and report them to the authorities. I pledge to tell a minimum of four people about the billion dollar movie, and I will tell them they should see the billion dollar movie instead of Lorax. Lorax looks bad. Sincerely, Alex Nassos. And here's yours. Oh no, I'm not signing that. You think I want to spend any time out with you in public? Better idea. Ah, what? No. <clears throat> Come here. You. Yeah. Come on. Um. Here, sign this. Perfect. Now let's take it to the blender. The blender. UFC hosted UFC 144 this past Saturday, where we saw Ben Henderson defeat Frankie Edgar by unanimous decision to become the new UFC lightweight champion. FX has signed the animated series Archer on for a fourth season. The deal also locks down Adam Reed with Matt Thompson to work exclusively on other projects solely for FX. Rumor is Ed Helms may be taking the role of Clark Griswold in the remake of Family Vacation, 
We'll have to see if the Hangover star can live up to the comedic genius of Chevy Chase. Co-star of Ed Helms, James Spader, who plays Robert California on the NBC series The Office, will be leaving after the season is over. It was the actor's decision to leave, saying he only wanted to be part of a one-year story arc. The lineup for the newest season of Dancing with the Stars was announced. The biggest name? Steve Urkel. You can tell they use the term stars loosely. J.K. Rowling announced she will be working on a new novel that will be very different from the Harry Potter series. A video game based on the cult movie The Boondock Saints is currently in development from video game developer Critical Mass Interactive. A new trailer for The Avengers was released. Check it out on our Facebook page. I hate seeing those Avengers trailers. You hate them? Yeah, they make the Hulk so scary. I always need a second pair of skinny jeans around when I watch one. Well, if you scare that easy, you may want to bring a whole wardrobe in a few weeks because goofing off is going ghost hunting. A g g ghost hunt? I didn't sign up for that. Let's take a look at a small preview of where we'll be doing some hunting. Hey everyone, this is Tyler Stackborn. We're goofing off at Farnham Manor. We're here to learn the haunted history of this historic location. Let's go take a look. So the house was built around 1831 and then in segments afterwards. This was Farnham Manor at one point in time. It was 3,000 acres of, of land. It's gone through the Farnham hands and, and the Farnham grandkids' hands and things of that nature. It went out of the Farnham hands and the Kirk family owned it at one point in time. Most of the time what you'll hear are, are noises that don't fit. You may hear someone making noise in another room. You might hear a door slam in the other room. Occasionally I run into a shadow that is peeking down the hall at me. A dowsing rod is, is, in my description, nothing more than an antenna for you to be able to use for whatever purpose that you need to kind of amplify your senses a little bit. That's good. It feels like something's pushing it. The spirits that are here are an intelligent haunt. If you're willing to acknowledge them and, and treat them as individuals with respect, they'll give you the same. Well, that wasn't so scary. Oh, come on, Alex. You can't even watch Paranormal Activity without crying. <laughs> Well, in my defense, it is one of the scariest movies of all time. We waited like an hour to see a chair move. I don't think that qualifies as scary. Fine. Well, what do you find scary? Cult classics, like Evil Dead. Well, it was made into a musical. Let's take a look at when Goofing Off got fancy and went to the theater. Hey, I'm Jay Summers, and we're goofing off tonight at Kent State Stark. We're here to see Evil Dead the Musical, and there is a full crowd, so let's see what all the excitement's about. Right, what brings you to the show this evening? I am a huge Evil Dead fan. Heard about the musical, went bananas. Well, I heard about Evil Dead, and I'm a huge fan of it, and also I heard about the splash zone, and I really wanted to see how they're going to do all the blood effects. Well, what are you looking forward to in this show? Sitting um, in the splatter zone. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sitting in the splatter zone. We took before and after pictures. Yeah, yeah we yeah. did the after pictures. So. Splatter. Splatter and more splatter. Are you sitting in the splatter zone this evening? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No rain, raincoat, no poncho, no nothing. I want it everywhere. <laughs> Have you enjoyed sitting in the splatter zone? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, <laughs> <so> <laughs> <much> awesome. <laughs> I was smiling as you shot. So. You got right in the face. What was your uh, favorite scene so far? Um, probably when he cut her head off and then he's beating himself up with his hand. I got blood everywhere. <laughs> it's awesome. What was your favorite song in the show? The one where he was slaying the zombies or whatever they were, the evil things. That was my favorite song. What's been your guys' favorite part of the show so far? Oh, oh my god. Um, <laughs> Rachel Meyer. Yeah, she's one of the demons. She has like, the best facial expressions. They're so fun to watch. The demon with the baton. Probably. Maddie. She's yeah. awesome too, yes. Everybody. What was your favorite part about the show? Oh, definitely the lyrics to the music. It makes it very funny. It's a funny spoof of the actual two movies, but I loved it. I loved all of it, really. Well, there you have it. We enjoyed the show, and I know the audience did as well. I'm Jay Summers, and I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to goof off with us. Wow. That looks entertaining. It was. And for more entertainment, be sure to like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash ZTVGoofingOff, and follow us on Twitter at ZTVGoofingOff. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ZTVGoofingOff. Until next week, 
I'm Erin Wrinkle. And I'm Alex Nassos. And thank you for taking the time to goof off with us.